Back at the Ultramobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Next patient, please. And it's 10-year-old Josiah who wants Zahn to check out his cheek. So, Josiah, why have you come to the Ouchmobile? Well, I have a scar running from my eye to my mouth. So what's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of I've got a scar running from my eye to my mouth itis. Sounds right to me. Now, how did it happen? Well, I grabbed something from my brother and he jumped and scratched me in my face. Now, Josiah, can we get a closer look at this scar of yours? Yeah. Can you open the eyelid for the ouch can? I'm going to zoom in here. And that's it there. Now, have you got any questions about your scar? If I go older, would my scar get bigger? You're already 10 years old, so your head is about 95% as big as it's ever going to be. So if you look at our heads, our heads are actually quite similar size, right? They're roughly the same size. That means that the skin on your face isn't going to change size, and so that scar is going to stay roughly the same size. What did it look like when you first got it? It looked like this. Oh, wow. Scars just take a long time to heal, so that'll keep healing over time. And in a few years, I bet you won't even be able to notice it. Josiah, thanks very much for bringing in your amazing scar. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Dan. We're hitting part of the hospital that you haven't seen before. Today, we're in the Burns Aftercare Clinic. On Operation Ouch, we've seen our fair share of burns, scrapes, cuts, and all sorts of gory bits. But what happens afterwards? All those injuries start to heal, and often, they form scars on your skin. Look at this. Last week, I accidentally burnt my arm on the cooker. Now, your body's really good at repairing itself, and this has already started to heal. But if it had been a more serious burn, that could leave a scar, and that would require careful treatment. When you injure yourself, the body heals the wound with scar tissue. This looks and feels quite different to normal skin. It's not as strong or flexible, and the bigger and deeper the injury, the bigger the scar. I'm on duty with scar and burn specialist Kevin Ryan to check up on some of the patients he's treating. First in is Holly, who took a bit of a tumble five months ago. If you're squeamish, get ready to look away. So, Holly, what happened? Why are you here? There was a tree stump on a hill and I fell over it. So can I see what happened? That's one month later and the skin's already starting to heal but there's a lot of this pus and infection there. And then this is now five months later and you can see it's all healed and there's a bit of scar but that's going to keep getting better and better, isn't it? Holly is being fitted with a special stocking that will help the scar continue to improve. Because Holly's wound took a long time to heal, the scar is more severe, if you like. Yes. And so by, by making a little stocking that presses on that, it'll get a flatter, nicer result. Is yeah, that right? That's what we're hoping for. Next in is Jensen, having a checkup on a burn he got over four weeks ago. Jensen, can you tell us the story of how this happened? The pie dropped on my leg. You dropped a pie on your leg? <laughs> what type of pie was it? Cheese and onion. Cheese and onion pie. What would have concerned us would it be had he had any raised lumpy scarring that would have contracted and pulled in, but it isn't. That's beautifully soft, nice and soft and supple, so that shouldn't cause him any problems at all. In terms of the pinkness, that would be there for several weeks, if not several months, but it will fade eventually. So if I press on it, yeah. I can make the pinkness go away yes. and then that, that's the blood flowing back. Exactly. But those blood vessels aren't quite normal, are they? That's no, part of the healing that's process. That's right, it is. They're very fragile at the moment, they are. But they do, they do improve, it just takes time, just takes several months for that to resolve. Ben had an accident five months ago. Stand by, because this isn't for the faint-hearted. And unfortunately, his burn injury got infected. To help it heal fully, the doctors took a patch of skin from his thigh to cover the injured part of his foot. This is called a skin graft. So what happened? Why are you in Burns Clinic today? I was making mum and dad a coffee. I had um, a music player with me that I carried downstairs and put on the side while I was waiting for the kettle to boil. And because I had no pockets, I, I just thought of a quick way to, to carry it upstairs and I just put it under my chin. How were you holding it all? Uh, I was holding it like that. And then what happened? So I was like looking down and I just waited to lift my head up to see where I was going. So you dropped the music player and spilled hot coffee all over your foot? Yeah. Oh dear, but for Ben, the question now is whether he can go swimming again. Should we have Let's a look at that? Yeah. And we'll give you your answer? Yeah. Fantastic. That's great. Oh. That's beautifully soft. Can't feel any signs of thickening there. That's just what we want. Um, it's now fully healed. I thought this was going to look much more serious. Yeah. 
you know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah. it's such a good result. In terms of swimming, I think yes, no problem. Brilliant. That's brilliant news, brilliant news. Although the scars may not ever go away fully, thanks to these treatments, it means that life can get back to normal for these three. Swimming for Ben, gymnastics for Holly, and cold pies only for Jensen.